CapeCast. There's a gargantuan ship docked in Woods Hole this week with an Ice Ice Baby mission. The Sikuliak is the National Science Foundation's brand spanking new ice cutting research vessel. Soon, it will go to the coldest regions of the world to study the oceans, marine life, the atmosphere, and global climate change. Cape Cass climbed aboard to check it all out. What's this thing going to be doing? Primarily its design has the capabilities to work in polar regions during the surveys of the summer period from June through November. Could you just lay some of the specs on us, how big it is, how many people will be aboard? Uh, it's 261 feet long, uh, 52 feet at the beam. It's about uh, 3,400 gross registered tons, 6,000 horsepower with two uh, Wartzilla C-Drive ice pod thrusters and one basically 1,000 horsepower Tees White Gill bow thruster. Uh, she carries uh, 22 crew, so we can then carry t uh, 24 scientists. And this might be the key piece of equipment on the vessel. A very cool grill. Any of a type of oceanographic operations we can support, any of the new technologies using AEVs, uh, flying systems, uh, gliders, uh, remotely operated vehicles. It's basically been designed as a Polar Class 5 vessel or designated as a Polar Class 5 vessel so it has basically about an inch thick hull plate and can go through two and a half to three foot first year ice at about two knots is the design. And it won't be until next uh, March, April in the Bering Sea that we'll actually put her through her um, ice trials to actually determine what like the full suite of capability is in the ice.